Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And I have naked hands. Haha. <laughs> As you know by the title, we're doing a third season of Mystery Nail Art Challenge. But this season, we're doing something different. As we do, I have these. So these are nail cards. They are from Galore Nails. They're called Nailed It Nails Cards. There are two decks. This is the first and original deck. It is for more basic nail styles and techniques and skill levels. And this is the second deck. And this one is more advanced. It has a lot of the same cards that are in this one, but it has some that are not in this one that are more higher skill level, more advanced, more... Uh, unique supplies not everybody may have what's in here but I love them both and anything I don't have the supplies for I just don't do it but that's not very much the only thing I've run across that I can't do I say can't I am not prepared to do with full cover tips is duck nails because I don't like duck nails so I don't own any but I guess if I had to make some I mean I could but I don't want to so this is what we're gonna do for this season and this is gonna be the first episode we're gonna start with the easy deck though and I say easy in the loosest manner possible so there are different types of cards in here we've got themes we've got colors we have treasure we have shapes we have accents we have lengths and if you get one of each it makes it really 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 hard so I like to do four it doesn't matter which four but four and so, let's shuffle this up real quick. And then we split it. All right, now we're ready to get our four cards. So the first one, we've got a theme. Looks like we're going with gangsta. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to mean. We have an accent. What is our accent gonna be? Color block. Hmm, gangsta color blocking. Okay. Oh, we've got a treasure card. What treasure will we use? Gold. Okay, so we're gonna have to get us some gold treasures to go on here. And so I already have an accent, so I'm gonna skip it. Oh goodness, length. This is where it gets risky. What's in this length? Shorties. Mmm. That is not my favorite. Let's <sighs> okay. Color blocked gangsta shorties with a gold accent. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on nail tips though because I'm not just gonna do it on here, it's terrible. But let me figure out what I'm gonna do and gather some supplies and I will be back and then we'll do this. All right, so I put on some little short square nails. This is definitely too short for my preference. I don't usually wear them like this. And I've got this stamping plate. It's from Maniology. It is plate number M396. I don't have any that are specifically paisley, but I am going to be able to use this to simulate that effect. I'm thinking maybe I go with this one or possibly this one. But also this one's nice. So I don't know, they're like all kind of similar. And then I'm doing black and white. And I got some little charms here. I got a dollar, a diamond ring, a coin, a dollar sign. We're gonna work these in. I've also got this glittery gold striping tape. So we're gonna make it work. We're gonna bring something together, whether it's a short gold gangster, I don't know. We're gonna find out. So, before we hop into the nail art part, we need, we need to paint these things. And we're just gonna put on this sticky base coat because we're gonna be using it anyway. Might as well do it for this part too. Okay, and we'll give that some time to dry and then we'll come back in and we'll do our base colors. All right, so those are dry, that dried pretty quickly. So some of these are gonna be all black background. Some of them are gonna be all white background. So let's get these colors put down. I know this pinky is going to be a black background. 
These are the finger paints polishes from Sally's. They are just super good. Like that is a one coat black for like six bucks. All right, and then this one's gonna be white. This one is black again. And then this one's gonna be black as well, but it's going to have some white parts. And then we'll put some white over here. All right, now we gotta give that some time to dry before we can put more color blocking on. All right, that's dried a little bit. We're gonna go in and put a little bit of blocking on some of these. So we've got this black here and this striping brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and put a stripe down the center of this nail without it being too crooked. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's see if we can't fill that in. I gotta hold my breath when I do this so that I don't get it everywhere. Let me a little bit right here where I went all the way to the top. There we go, nice and crisp. Now, similarly, we want to make the tip of this one white, but it's gonna be a little bit easier because we only have to paint the line going across and then we can fill the rest in with the bottle brush. I'm gonna have to do a second coat of the white on this because it's over the black and it's not opaque enough by itself. So we'll let that dry and then we'll do a second coat on that. All right, let's start with our stamping. We're gonna go ahead and take this one. That's a good pickup. Now, we want to go diagonal across this nail and I wanna try and get it as close to, stop touching, centered as possible. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll clean that up after. Use my lint roller and get that off of there. Perfecto. Now we need the white stamping polish. Very good. All right, so on this nail, we're gonna do like a bit of a angle. Like that. Perfect. You always have to clean your plate between your stamps. You can't stamp over pre-existing polish. Next one. Okay, now this one, we're gonna wanna make it match with these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this off. So let's say we wanna remove that much from that side and about that much from that side. That ought to fit in there. If it overlaps a little bit, it'll be fine, I guess. We got that in there pretty good. And then we need the black one more time. <sighs> so we want to use this to go across the end of this too. Just like that. All right, so that's all the paisley we're gonna do. Paisley, you know what I mean. So now it's time to go in with our gold striping tape. Got some scissors here. Let me see if I can't find the end of this thing. Well, I have a end, probably not its natural end, but it'll do. We don't need a whole bunch at one time. So I'm gonna cut this off. Have to have manageable pieces. Now, let's start over here. We wanna get this lined up as best as we can. Okay, and then we wanna go across this one as well. There we go, that's where we need that. We gotta cut off these ends. Now when you're working with striping tape, you ideally want to cut them off just before the end so they can get sealed in with your top coat. But sometimes that's hard to do. So just do your best. And then also cover them with a smudge-free top coat before you cover them with your regular top coat because it's gonna smear the color off, unfortunately. Okay, now we need one to go across here. 
looking pretty good so far. What you think? We're coming along. Now we gotta do two down these. All right, yeah, those are coming along pretty good. That's all the striping tape we needed. So now it is time to seal these in and then we can put on our charms. So first we'll be using the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat so we don't ruin our hard work. Smearing. I don't know why striping tape has to do this when you have to seal it in or it just peels right up. It's ruining my white. Yeah, better not. That's just gonna mess it up. Hmm. I don't know why that one bled so terribly. It's probably gonna happen over here too then. There we go. Just not gonna put as much. I'm really unhappy about that. That's disgusting. And then we're going to use Fast Forward from China Glaze. It's a quick dry top coat over this smudge free top coat. All right, let's try not to smear our tape while doing this. And I don't normally make such great efforts for the capping at the end, but because I have this striping tape and I would really like it to not come off, I am going to try a little bit harder with it. Ah, this one is trying to bleed. Stop it. Maybe if you use gel, they don't. I can't say for sure though, because this is nail polish. That's obnoxious, because we're working so hard for these nice nails, and they just want to bleed everywhere. All right, we'll let this dry, and then it'll be time for the charms. All right, let's get started putting these charms on. So for the first one, we're putting that big old dollar bill on here. So I'm gonna put some of this, and we're gonna let it sit for a minute so it can start to get a little tacky. All right, now we'll put this on and hold it. Once that dries a little bit, I will put some more underneath because it's got these hangy edges. And then we'll jump to this one where we're going to be putting that Dallas. So let's put a glob of this here. Let that sit for a minute as well. I'm going to let these sit and I will be right back when we're ready for the other nail. Alright, let's go ahead and get this last nail charmed up. Glob here and a glove here for this diamond ring to sit in. I'm gonna have to hold it there for a minute while it starts to dry. Do that so it'll set in there. All right, and then let's go ahead and get this coin added with a little drop here. Okay, now we just have to let that dry a while. What do you think? I don't know if this counts as gangster, I'm not the gangsterous nail person, and also my Paisley, Paisley substitute looks like completely different, looks like some other flower. So like, without these charms, it's a whole different vibe. <laughs> but I think it's okay. I think it has come out fairly decent, especially considering what we had to work with. I wish they were longer more nail estate, all that good stuff. And I wish that gold had not bled. So I'm probably not gonna get some gross photos. We'll see if I do, I'll be shoving them in. But this is the mystery nail art challenge with the Nailed It nail cards. What do you think? I'll definitely leave a link to the Instagram where you can get these. They are made by galore nails you there's not like a store you have to hit her up she's got a tiktok and an instagram and a youtube i'll leave you the links and they are 40 dollars, i believe per deck definitely worth the money though because i have been having a fantastic time with these definitely leave me a comment let me know what you think let me know what kind of design you would have done if you pulled these cards because boy is it hard to come up with gangster nails I don't know thank you so much for watching my video though and I will see you in the next one goodbye